Good morning, children. How are you? Welcome to Navin Sir class. Look at the pictures. What are you seeing in these images? Two brothers and four chocolates. If we want to distribute these four chocolates between two brothers, so here. Four chocolates we have. We are dividing these four chocolates for two brothers. Then four is divisible by two. Then how many times will be? Two times. Then each brother they will get two chocolates. Elder brother he will get two chocolates, and younger brother he will get two chocolates. Look at the picture. One more picture we have there. What is it? Yes, it is a pizza. So this pizza, if you want to distribute between two brothers, how will? So look at the image. The pizza is divided into six parts. So these six parts. We have to distribute between two brothers. So this pizza is divided into six parts. These six parts we have to divide for two brothers. Then six is divisible by two. Then how many times? Three times. Then each brother get how many pieces of pizza? Three pieces of Pizza. So each brother get three pieces of pizza. Look at the pictures. More pictures we have. Here we have only one chocolate. How can distribute this one chocolate between two brothers? Yes. We make it. Into two equal parts, then we can distribute this chocolate for two between two brothers. So look at the picture. In this way, we will divide into two equal parts. So here we have only one chocolate. Dividing for two brothers into two equal parts. For so one chocolate is divided. For two brothers, into two equal parts. So how many equal parts we divided? Two equal parts for two brothers. So out of two parts, one part we given for younger brother, and remaining one more part we given for elder brother. So here. This type of numbers are called fractions. So today our topic is fractions. So let us discuss about the fractions. Pizza. In the pizza, the pizza is divided into six 
parts and we distributed to two brothers each brother they got so the pizza we divided into totally six parts we divided and the six parts we divided we distributed between two brothers then each brother they got three parts so we are represent this is called as a fraction so here this number the number is representing a part so this number is representing a part in of a whole number is called a fraction so fraction is nothing but a part of a whole a part of a whole so here three pieces of whole pizza so the three pieces we represent as a 3 by 6 This is called as a fraction. So here, the fraction is a. We can write as a examples five by seven, two by eight. Here, in five by seven, this five is called as a numerator. Five is called as a numerator, and this seven is called as a. denominator here this this fraction we read as a 5 by 7 or 5 over the 7 so this fraction we read as a 5 by 7 or 5 over the 7 now types of fractions we have three types of fractions are there they are first one proper fractions second one improper fractions and third one mixed fraction so here we have three types of fractions are there they are proper fractions improper fractions and mixed fractions now we will discuss about the types of fractions in the types of fractions uh, first one is a uh, proper fractions a fraction that is less than 1 so the, the, the which fractions are less than 1 with uh, numerator is less than the denominator are called uh, proper fractions so here yeah, always the numerator is uh, less than the denominator such a of fractions are called uh, proper fractions so examples for proper fractions 2 by 3 8 by 9 and 11 by 15 etc so here this is called as a numerator and this is called as a denominator so numerator is a always less than the denominator so such type of fractions are called proper fractions so these fractions are always less than 1 so here look at here 2 by 3 so if the 3 if you will divide it will divide to no we can't so by taking zero on the point we can take zero then Three six are eighteen. So zero point six. Nothing but it is a less than one. It is less than one. So the fractions is less than one. And with the numerator is less than the denominator are called proper fractions. So these are called proper fractions. Two is less than three. Eight is less than nine. And eleven is less than fifteen. So always the numerator is less than the denominator. The next one, improper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. So numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fraction. So these are the examples for improper fractions. 
थ्री बाई टू नाइन बाई एट फिफ्टीन बाई इलेवन एक्सेट्रा सो ये Divide by the same number 
to both numerator and denominator so here yeah, we are multiplying for numerator and denominator we are dividing for numerator and denominator by the same number such that fractions are called equivalent fractions like fractions the rational numbers that have the same denominators are called like fractions so in fractional numbers which the fractions have same denominators so the fractional numbers have same denominators are called like fractions for example 2 by 7 5 by 7 10 by 7 etc so here 7 7 7 the denominator is same of fractional numbers is called they are this type of fractions are called uh, like fractions next unlike fractions the rational numbers that have different denominators are called uh, unlike fractions so the rational numbers have different denominators the denominators are different so such type of fractions are called unlike fractions so these are the examples of unlike fractions 2 by 8 3 by 9 and 12 by 15 etc so here 2 by 8 3 by 9 and 12 by 15 here the denominators are different so such type of fractal fractional numbers are called unlike fractions so If the denominators are same they are called like fractions if the denominators are different they are called unlike fractions the examples of unlike like fractions are 2 by 7 5 by 7 and 10 by 7 and the examples for unlike fractions are 2 by 8 3 by 9 and 12 by 15 some more problems on fractions first one Define fraction with an example. Write the definition of fraction and write the examples. Second one, write five like and unlike fractions. Third one, write three equivalent fractions for five by six. For five by six, you should write three equivalent fractions. Fourth one, define improper fractions with examples. So these are the homework problems. Thank you. Keep watching.